Okay. Uh, Mr. Ranavar, this is the way we have designed the panel. Uh, so this part will be the same. We've got the overhead tank. This is the sump tank. There will be three sensors going to the overhead tank, three sensors to the sump tank. Now uh, everything is on, but the overhead tank is full. Now let us say that the overhead tank becomes empty. So the high level, it reduces from the high level, it reduces from the medium middle level. When it reduces water below the low level, the pump will start automatically. Okay. Once the level is put, it is filling, the overhead tank low, middle, and high. You can see the pump is off. Now let us say that there is no water in the overhead tank. The pump is off. But there is no water in the sump tank also. So, high level, middle. As soon as it takes out from the middle, that means there is no water in the sump tank. When the water comes back on, it will automatically start and fill the tank. And when this starts filling, that means the tank is full. Okay. Now we have given you here an option. If there is, if the sensors are having a problem or whatever, there is a completely manual bypass for all the sensors. You just have to turn on the switch, and you can see that the motor is running. We are planning to provide one more switch here that we will redesign the switch. If you want only one time filling, if you put it in on position, it is in automatic. But if you put it in off position, it will fill once after you start the green button. Thank you.